Perform a compression test of the ejector spring. Measure the reserve closing loop to ensure it is 12 inches plus or minus 1 quarter inch. Route the reserve closing loop through the reserve closing loop channel. Compress the ejector spring and route the packing rod through the bottom locator tabs. Finish prepping the ejector spring. Secure all materials and equipment and position under the table at the lower lateral band. Trace line 20 to the apex. Locate apex vent tie loop 20 and route the apex hook lanyard in a counterclockwise direction through the extractor attaching loops and the vent tie loops. Pre-position ticket 8 fourths cotton thread. Break and remove all four scoop ties if present. Inspect the risers for proper tacking, the spreader bar attaching ties, the connector snap retaining ties, and the spreader bar fold-over tie for serviceability. Dress the pack tray and make the first two riser stows. Move to the lower lateral band and call rigor check 1. Apply first tension. Flip the right group of gores to the left and begin folding the gores starting with line 11. Continue folding gores until you reach line 10. Subdivide gores to the left and right with line 10 on top. Apply second tension. Conduct the first rough dress from lower lateral band to within 24 inches of the apex. Split the canopy in half ensuring line 20 is on top and place a packing weight on the suspension lines. Conduct a second rough dress. Fold the left group of gores to the right and fine dress each gore until you reach line 20. Fold the right group of gores to the left and repeat. Insert the line separator. Place the skirt assist lines to the inside and the suspension lines to the outside. Replace the packing weight. Trace line 20 into the center scoop to the apex. Dress the scoops. Tie the scoops with ticket 8 fourths and trim the running ends to a half inch. Redress the scoops. Move to lower lateral band and call rigor check 2. Fold the canopy at the lower lateral band 90 degrees from the left and right sides to the main seam forming a 45 degree fold. Fold the left side of the canopy approximately 3 inches over the air channel. Place packing weights as demonstrated. Fold the right side of the canopy in the same manner beginning at the lower lateral band folding it to the left. S fold the scoops. Rotate the folded scoops to the left side of the table and position two packing weights to hold in place. Perform a line check of the extractor. Fold the extractor keeping the attachment line centered evenly. Place the extractor on the table and split the extractor in half with six scores on the left and right sides. Fold the left, then the right sides into the center. S fold the extractor in thirds and place under the top packing weight. Move to the lower tension device and call rigor check 3. Release tension. Make the remaining riser stows. Rotate the pack tray 90 degrees clockwise and make the first regular stow. Ensure the retainer bands attached to the stow bars are exposed. Call rigor check 4. Continue stowing the suspension lines until approximately 36 inches remain. There will be 6 stows on the left and right. Align all stows with the outer edge of the pack tray. Three additional free stows will be formed. The first two free stows will be aligned with the outer edge of the pack tray. The third will be in the center on top of the suspension lines. Move to the upper tension device and release the apex hook. Using the apex hook lanyard, pull the ticket 8 fourths through the apex loops. Tie the apex tie and trim to half inch. Move back to the lower lateral band and call rigor check 5. Unfold the pack closing flaps. 
Begin folding the canopy into the pack tray. The first lateral seam should be centered with the bottom and top grommets. The second lateral seam should line up with the right side working view edge of the pack tray. Make two 4 inch folds. Position the ejector spring in the center with the packing rod exiting the lower left working view. Form a bridge over the ejector spring making another 4 inch fold. Make three equal length folds with the upper lateral band ending on working view left side. S fold the extractor suspension lines and place the folded lines and extractor on top of the canopy with the lower lateral band of the extractor towards the lower end of the table. Rigger check 6, using working view, route the pull up cord through the top right then top left grommets. Pull until reserve closing loop comes through and insert temp pin. Position protector cap and remove packing weight. Close the bottom in the same order as the top, this time using the T-bar. Once under tension remove temp pin. Pull the closing loop through the grommet and reinsert temp pin. Call rigger check 7 and immediately remove packing rod. Stand the pack tray up and tuck the side closing flaps in between the suspension lines and risers. Using working view, close the bottom then top pack closing flaps using the T-bar. Remove and insert temp pin as necessary. Dress the pack tray. Position the ripcord assembly with the arrow facing the carrying handle. Using working view, insert the left tuck tab into the left tuck pocket. Keeping the temp pins inserted, insert the working view top then bottom curve pin. Call rigger check 8. Insert the remaining tuck tabs. Conduct a 14 pound pull test. Remove the pull up cords and temp pins. Fill out the log record book as follows. Insert the date. 14 pound pull test under D bag, pass under routine inspection, X and repack, packer's name, and unit in which assigned. Call rigger check 9. 